Hello well fans and welcome to another Wildwood to the Trains Minecraft Log Model Tutorial. Today we are building this Norfolk Southern number 8105 Interstate Heritage Locomotive. So let's get right into the build right here. For the first step is take out gray concrete to start off. concrete and we'll go take out some stone brick stairs to be the bottom corners and we're gonna make this metal section so that's 34 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18, 19, 20, 31, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and do the same, just fold the back, and place the row of stomach series like this. Now I'm going to take out some secondary wall or gray concrete, and do the other side. But we're gonna use orange concrete to be the secondary wall. Good, let's grab roll orange concrete. And place like this. Now go take out two blocks wide by using orange concrete all the way across like this. side and do a secondary wall again by using orange concrete and then the other side like this and do the exact same thing do all the way across by using orange concrete now go take out some Stone slabs to be the stairwell. Now I'm going to take out stone brick slabs to be the coupler. So let's grab stone brick slab and then let's grab some truck bar hooks for the air bricks. So let's grab air bricks and then stone brick slabs and then air bricks and then. Now we will do the wheels, so let's grab hoppers. So let's grab two, two axles of, of orange concrete of hoppers. Just like this. And then let's take out stone brick slabs. Then do the same just on the side and add three wheels of poppers. And then let's take out another roll of stonework slabs. Do the exact same thing. Now we'll come around and grab gray concrete in the bottom corner. And then the other side. And go all the way across like this. Once you got that, now we'll grab some brick stairs to be the field tank. And then the other side. This one's gonna be a little bit different, so let's grab rolls of 
orange concrete like this. And let's take out another row of orange concrete. And then stone brick stairs. And then three orange concrete. And then stone brick stairs like this. Next up, we're going to grab some quartz slab to be the floor. This, and then the other side like that once you got that do the same thing just like in the back just like this and then do the other side all across like that once you got that now go add some fences so let's grab some Keisha fence and then nether brick fence so let's grab cage of fence and then nether brick fence. And do the exact same thing right here. Add another row of cage of fence and then and then oh nether brick fence like this. Alright, so let's get started on the calves right here. First one we're gonna do, so let's grab row orange concrete and then white concrete and then gray concrete. Now go grab some um, smooth court stairs um, and also windows. So let's grab some white stained glass block, black stained glass block, um, black stained glass pane, and then iron bars like this. Once we got that, now let's grab roll orange. Then also grab gray concrete. So let's grab gray concrete. All right, so let's grab gray concrete and then white concrete up top and then place up with some smooth let's grab some rows of quartz stairs and then let's grab more rows of two rows of gray concrete and then wrap on across right here till we hit right there and then the other side exact same thing stick it up right here once we got that, now go take out all the across right here. Then the other side, we we'll like to leave gap up to grab this one like this. And then let's grab another one right here. Once we got that, now go grab more rows of grab another row of smooth court stairs, and then let's grab white concrete up top like this once you have it now go grab some more rows of orange concrete we want to have it right over here like this once you got that and want to place it up top right here and another one And then let's grab another one right here. And another one right here. Just like this. And then let's take out some black stained glass pane. And then let's grab some windows. So let's grab black stained glass block right here. But we're going to stick the stained orange concrete right hot top right here, making a T shape. And then let's take out some cage shell with stairs. And we want to place it up top like this. And then another one like this. And then take out black stained glass pane. And let's grab some iron bars. Just like this. Now go grab some black concrete for the number plates or the bottom just like this and the other side let's destroy here just like this and then let's take our number right here just like this and now let's grab some 
now go grab some rows of glow either frame for the ditch lights so let's grab right here and then with white stained glass block like this once you have it now go grab up top right here so let's grab another row of orange concrete like this and then let's grab more rows of gray concrete we want to grab all the way across here and let's grab orange concrete all the way around to till we fill in right here to, to make our locomotive of our Norfolk Southern number 8105 interstate locomotive heritage unit and let's grab all the way across right here just like this now let's take our gray concrete this time right here we want to leave this gap right here. We want to leave a gap of five. And let's take all the way across like this. Just like this. Now let's grab some black concrete again. So let's grab by five. Just like this. Now goes take out some block of quartz. So let's grab some smooth quartz on um, blocks right here. We want to extend it all the way around like this. And then we want to place all the way around like this. Just like this. And then another one like this place it all the way around by using some parts which is white and let's grab all the way across here just like this once you got that now let's go over here so let's grab white concrete white um, quartz right here now go let's grab some bedrocks right here then let's grab more bedrocks right here so let's grab what and then some quartz two bedrocks some quartz bedrock and then some quartz this. and we want to extend it like this and then this thing like that and that one now go start off, let's grab some smooth quartz slabs and let's grab, let's grab one, two, three, four and then let's grab all the across right here like this. Once you have that, now let's go over here and let's grab two rows right here and then another one like this. Now go place another one like this, and then another one, and then let's grab another one right here. So let's grab um Derox again. We want to have part two. So let's grab one right here, another one this side right here. And we'll go place all around like this right here. And we want to place all the way across like that. Just like this. Now let's grab more rows of small quartz stairs. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want to place all the way across here. Destroy these into stairs right here. Just like this. And we want to do the exact same thing. Just like that. And do the exact same thing all the way across like that. And we want to place all the way across right here like this. Once you have that, now go place another row of smooth quartz slabs. The reason why I put smooth quartz right here because it's nice and smoother than the regular quartz right here just like my 
previous ones for here. But now like, let's grab, let's get started grabbing some polish box stone brick stairs. Now let's grab one, two, three. And then let's grab more rows of smooth quartz side by side like this. And then smooth quartz, quartz slabs up top. Same way, just like the other side, and let's grab. Let's, let's grab one, two, three. So polish box stone work stairs, and then smooth quartz stairs, and bottom and top by using smooth quartz slabs like this. Love it. Now I'm gonna start off grabbing the horn, which is our turtle fence gate, just like this. But I wanted to change it for the top right here where the horn we just put just placed. I'm gonna re replace it into smooth, into quartz stairs. So it's nice and more easier. Because I know sometimes more smoother is kind of hard to see that you guys are here. But I'm gonna use smooth quartz. I'm gonna use quartz sticks, regular quartz slabs to, to be able to see better. So let's grab the horn again, just like this, it's in that way. And let's get started, let's grab Suro here. Next up, I'm gonna grab some iron trap doors. So let's grab two right here. And let's grab some um, stone buttons. So, so let's grab some stone buttons right here, side by side, like this. Now let's grab more rows here. Let's grab some um, white carpet. So let's grab white carpet all around right here. And let's grab another one right here. And to the front right here. Just like that. Like so. Now I'm gonna start making them buttons right here. So let's grab buttons right here. So let's grab boom. Okay, we need a black banner. And let's grab some more rolls in here. Let's grab an orange die. Let's grab one. We need a black banner. And let's grab a border. Let's grab a dual banner. And place it like this to the bottom in the middle. After you got this dual banner right here, let's grab one to the back right here. And one over there. That's way too high. Right there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go to the other side right here. And let's place more orange concrete. So let's grab orange concrete again. So let's grab let's grab by one, two, three, four, five. And let's get start making the fences right here. So let's grab another brick fence. Oak fence we also need um Cobble stone stairs, some string, and then and then some orange carpet. Let's grab some orange carpet right here. Once so we got that, now we'll start at it right here at fence. All right across from here, some top, all right across the way. Here. Perfect, that got the good thing here, ladies and gentlemen. First, so let's continue on here. Let's just fix this fence right here. I don't know why it's the ghost of like that. It's all my lagging right here. So let's grab some Alright, so now let's grab here and let's add acacia fence in here and let's grab another little another brick fence all the way across like that just like this and let's leave right here and place it up top like this now we'll go place spotter string all the way across right here 
to till we carpet about North Coast Center, North Coast Center, 8105 Interstate, our heritage streets. And what if it's all over the Here. And let's grab some orange carpet. We want to place it all the way around, just like this. We want to extend it all the way across right here to the like, orange carpet, and that's the right side of our Norfolk Center 8104 Interstate Locomotives to make a walkthrough of our heritage unit of the layer of your train all the way across right here, back to back. And want to place it all the way across right here. And I'm gonna use cobblestone stairs right here and an orange carpet right here, place it there, there, there. And that's we have it right here. And finally, let's grab some birch fence gates facing that way. And go to the back right here and add also. But I'm gonna destroy this into smooth quartz stairs. Place a row of birch fence gates like this. Perfect. Alright, so that is pretty much it on how to build this Norfolk Sony ES44 AC number 8105 Interstate Heritage Locomotive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have it, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe for Wobble to Trains on YouTube so I'll be posting more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. So, bye.